Hello, I'm Kevin Birchelman, and this is A Brazen Bit of Leadership. Today's topic, set goals, make plans, execute, <laughs> rinse and repeat, do, do it again. Make no mistake, we either plan for our success, or we decide to accept blind, dumb luck. There's very little in between between the two. Now, I'm assuming we've gnashed, argued, hypothesized, hypothesized, uh, and agreed on all of our overall corporate strategies, directions, goals, visions, missions. If not, you lose your turn, go back to the beginning, complete that part first, call me if you need help. Um, we need to have those upper level things done first, those high level strategies. Here, I'm referring more to the functional planning, those events and efforts that make up the tactical and operational side of things, functional planning. So why do we set goals? Number one, they're the cornerstone of any improvement, right? Got to set goals. Number two, they can act as motivators for our folks to set targets for personal performance and achievement. Uh, number three, they help us focus on a common purpose uh, and or direction. And four, most importantly, goals translate that big strategy we talked about earlier, often vague and somewhat conceptual, into actionable plans, commitments, tactics that we can actually execute too. Of course, goals aren't simply wishes. Uh, hope is a lousy strategy, uh, nor then can uh, these goals succeed without some degree of structure. A goal without a deadline, for instance, is just a dream. So then what are the components of effective, successful goals? So here's my spin on the SMART goals process. First, they are clear, concise, and actionable. People inside and outside our functional organization can easily understand them and we can describe them succinctly to others. Did you get that part? Succinctly to others. I think it was Einstein that said that if we can't describe a concept in a paragraph or less it's because we don't really understand it. So we ought to be able to do it briefly. Next, the goals are inextricably tied to one of the levers of the organization. In other words, regardless of functional area, HR, IT, sales, operation, uh, doesn't really matter, whatever the area is, every functional goal clearly ties in to a specific goal, direction, or strategy of the overall organization. To say it another way, no goal, no matter how noble sounding, should exist without a direct tie-in to the success and strategy of our overall business. No goal. Finally, these goals must be measurable. And the metrics, including milestones along the way, should be clearly identified in advance. Agreed dates, numbers, quantitative results, uh, or specific qualitative measures must be understandable, trackable, <laughs> uh, and specific. They are not rife with such nebulous words as better, more, improve, those sorts of things, without the data to support those adjectives. Don't just throw those words out there. Then throughout the upcoming year, quarter, month, whatever, we manage to those measurements. We need specific goals to chart the course for successful execution of strategy. So give them the attention they deserve, now or in the very immediate future. Remember, a good plan violently executed now is better than a perfect plan next week. That's General George's Patton. And remember, be bracing.